Hello, friends. Advent, the season, the beginning of the new Christmas calendar, the new year is upon us. And during Advent, we light the Advent wreath, uh, evergreens that remind us of newness of life, uh, the candles that shine forth in this world of darkness, reflecting the, the coming of the light of the world, Jesus. Uh, blue can be a color of, of hope. Uh, purple is a royal uh, color showing us that the King of Kings is born. And, uh, and during Advent, we are mindful each candle has a meaning. The first is the hope candle, and that's what we'll be looking at today. And then we have the peace candle, the joy candle, and the candle of love. All gifts that our Lord has brought us. So thank you for attending our Advent Bible study at St. Luke. And uh, hope this helps in preparing for the joy, the wonder, the blessings of our our Christmas uh, and the gifts that come to us wrapped up in swaddling clothes. Then let us pray. Lord, today we are mindful of the living hope, Jesus, and how hope does not disappoint us in the times we go through struggles. And hope creates a character and strength. Hope gives us uh, the ability to keep going. And uh, we give thanks that the Christmas story is full of hope and that we are called to be in this world of darkness lights that bring hope. Bless this study now in Jesus, our newborn Savior, uh, the hope of the world. Amen. Well, hope. I know St. Luke has uh, a lot of hope in uh, the call of the new pastor. Uh, I think we all live with hope as Christmas comes that uh, we'll have a good uh, holiday season preparing for the coming of, of our family gatherings. I think we hope maybe we'll get a little bit of snow. <laughs> but not too much that it's going to inhibit our travels. I think as the family gets together, I hope, I think we hope we're not going to get into some politics or arguments. And as things are going on in the world, our hope is that the angels uh, song of peace on earth and goodwill to all will be fulfilled in this uh, world. They said the first candle on the Advent uh, reef is called the Hope or the Bethlehem uh, candle. And both of the, or prophecy, I'm sorry, a prophecy candle. And prophecy is our words of encouragement that God gives us as to a reminder that uh, the future is in his hands, his care. In fact, he is an eternal God, so he's been to the future. And the prophetic words remind us that uh, in the end, just as God has promised, we are victorious and uh, our hopes are fulfilled in God's grace, goodness, and mercy. Uh, a message of hope uh, spoken by Matthew. Uh, Matthew 1, it says, Now the birth of Jesus the Messiah took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been engaged to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. Her husband Joseph, being a righteous man and unwilling to expose her to public disgrace, planned to dismiss her quietly. But just when he had resolved to do this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, 
Son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet prophecy, the hope that the world was awaiting. Look, the virgin, the prophet says, shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God with us. There's a lot of hope <laughs> in that story of Matthew that tells us of the Savior's birth. First, that Jesus is the promised Messiah, the hoped for anointed one uh, who would make all things new, who would establish God's kingdom, who would be, bring hope to the hungry, to the suffering, to the exiled, would bring a living hope uh, that would change the world. And then they're engaged. Remember when you were engaged? Or perhaps you're anticipating engagement. That's the time of hope, anticipation, making plans, preparations. It's uh, an exciting time, hope. And then we hear that um, Mary uh, conceives through the Holy Spirit. New birth. A baby coming. That's that's hope. An exciting time. And again, a time where we are making preparations, plans. We're praying unto God. Uh, let this child be healthy. Let me be a good parent. Hope. And then we're told Joseph, uh, he's a righteous man. When he hears that Mary is pregnant and they have not uh, known each other in a biblical sense uh, he says it's not my child but he could have went to the to the levites the pharisees the keeper of the law and mary would have been stoned for being unfaithful for adultery but he was righteous a good man and he decided to dismiss her uh, quietly. He brings hope. We don't have to be mean or cruel. We don't have to follow the, uh, the law if it's not uh, just part of God's plan. The disciples said, we have to follow God instead of man. And then I like that Joseph has a dream. That's hope, right? I hope you have <laughs> hope you have dreams, plans, uh, things you're reaching for uh, in this life that is is so short. Don't give up. Keep going. God's with you. And then, in that dream, he's told the child is conceived of the Holy Spirit, and they will have a child and his name will be Emmanuel. God with us. There's hope. And when you feel all alone, when you feel down, when you feel like, I just can't go another mile, remember Emmanuel. God with us. He's not, not that Jesus came to be with us uh, here on earth especially during the difficult times, the times of joy, times of celebration. And his promise is he will be Emmanuel, God with us unto eternity. And he hopes that we'll be that living presence of the Lord among us that brings hope unto others. Let's try a, about a verse of a hymn that talks about the coming of of the living hope, Emmanuel, and that's uh, 257. I think we'll just do one verse. O come, O come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel that mourns in lonely exile here 
until the Son of God appear. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to you, O his Rahel. God promised the Savior and the hope of the Savior was fulfilled in an unexpected way. A tiny babe was born of a virgin and the carpenter born in a lowly town of Bethlehem. Uh, the hope was fulfilled after many millennia, thousands of years of waiting for the hope first spoken to Adam and Eve, that from uh, Mary, the Savior, the Messiah, the anointed uh, King of Kings, the, the priest, the high priest who intervenes for the people, the wise teacher who teaches us of, of God and our way of salvation and how we should live on earth, uh, the prophet, the anointed prophet, Jesus, uh, that promise, that hope wasn't fulfilled. And so God keeps his word. And in his word, we have a living hope. Let me give you a few thoughts about how to claim uh, a sense of hope. Because there can be times where this world's really difficult. You watch the news, I usually say, okay. Uh, I've watched enough news. I'm down. I'm depressed. They accomplished what they needed to do. Uh, when you see some of the problems going on in the world, in our communities, people are, are looking for not hope, but they're looking to numb themselves. So that's with uh, drugs, with alcohol with temporary uh, pleasure. They think maybe money will bring me a sense of fulfilled hope, but hope can only come from God. I'm going to give you a little humor. Uh, knock, knock. Who's there? Ho, ho. Ho, ho, who? Ho, ho, ho. Oh in Jesus, the newborn Savior. I'm going to encourage you, maybe during these beautiful uh, December days that are coming with hope in your heart, maybe get up early on a day and watch the sunrise. That's going to Set the tone for the rest of your day. You'll see beauty. You'll see goodness. You'll see God's faithfulness every day. He provides that sunrise. And then I'm going to say, share your hope, the living hope of Jesus, by letting your light, like the morning sun, shine forth for others to see. And how do you do that? Well, you do it uh, by being a, a caring, friendly person. You do it by, you share your hope by welcoming uh, strangers, taking a little risk. You share the hope of Jesus by giving and St. Luke has so many opportunities for you to give to the poor, the less fortunate. That brings uh, tangible hope to people who are, are struggling. You bring hope. Maybe you send a, a Christmas card to somebody who you haven't seen in a while. You bring hope. You pass on the living hope of Jesus by maybe saying, I'm going to visit uh, this family member who's in the hospital. Or maybe someone broke the law and they're in prison. Take a moment to write that person. Or maybe you say, 
I'm going to see if I can visit, give them a sense of hope that they're not judged on the worst thing that they did in their life, uh, but they're still a good person. Shine forth with the hope, the light of Jesus. And then I'm going to say, in quiet hope, as the Bible tells us, be still. It's a busy time. So much to do. You got to decorate. You got to make the cookies. You got to get the gifts. You got to send out the Christmas cards, the emails. Oh, you got to attend the programs. I'm going to say in hope and stillness. Know that God is Lord. Think of that first at Christmas. And then in hope, like Joseph, I'm going to say, dream. What's your dreams? For yourself? For your family? What's your hopes and, and dreams for your community? Sheboygan Falls, the surrounding area. What's your hope for St. Luke as this important ministry continues on? What's your hope, your, your dreams for our nation? Seems to be going through a lot of difficult times, but we still have hope for this greatest of all nations. And what's your hope for the world? A lot of violence, a lot of war, bloodshed. Similar to a time in which Jesus was born. But he came to be Emmanuel. So keep living with hope, with dreams, with the promise and the assurance of our Lord that all things will work together for good. It will. Uh, Close with a, a little devotion. I had a, let's see if I got this with me. I had the Advent Creed. I, I had written this a couple of years ago and I, I like it. It's a, uh, I might be able to find it in this Bible study. It doesn't like it, but it talks about how in Jesus, uh, in God's promise, John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but receive eternal life. That's the hope. Uh, that's what we confess. God loved us so much. That's why Christmas uh, took place, his love. And then he sends his son Jesus uh, to bring hope bring joy, to bring peace and love into this world. That's the advent that we give thanks, uh, the new life for which we rejoice. And then um, we are called, like Mary, like Joseph, uh, Elizabeth, Zechariah, like the angels, the wise men, the shepherds, to there and pass on the hope of Emmanuel. Well, Christmas is full of, of all the blessings of hope. I want to uh, finish with this little devotion and we'll sing a, a hymn. Uh, hope. Hope drove Joseph to keep knocking on those doors and uh, not give up till he found a, a stable in which the Savior could be born. Hope kept Mary going uh, while pregnant on that mule as they traveled to Bethlehem because Kyrenius was governor and ordered a census. You think of the three kings who left their luxurious uh, castles, and with hope they followed the Christmas star, the cattle <laughs> in the stable. They 
one hungry, but were filled with hope. <laughs> Their feeding trough was taken over by a little babe, the savior of the world. But they received something more important, which was the fulfillment of all creation. They hope uh, in the savior. The angels, they descended from the splendor of heaven to bring the promise of, of hope and light to this world of darkness as, as they pronounced, fear not, for bring, I behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy. You think of the shepherds, oh, I love them. They were frightened. We go through frightening times. But as they saw the babe born in Bethlehem, as we see the Savior among us in times of, of love, in times of difficulty, when things turn around and we see the Savior in the least of our brothers and sisters, we, like the shepherds, are filled with hope. And we go out and tell others about it. That Christmas star, it shone forth so brightly because it was uh, fulfilling the hope of all the world and guiding those who hoped in the promise of the Savior. And I think God, the Heavenly Father up above, had hope that calmed his uh, weeping, sad spirit as he sent Jesus into the world knowing that this tiny babe uh, would grow up and would be crucified, would suffer and die on our behalf. But that hope of the resurrection would give him strength during these 30 plus years that they would be apart. Uh, let's, let's sing one song and then we'll close with a prayer. Two, 279, uh, Oh, Little Town of Bethlehem. And there's that verse, the hopes and fears of all the world are met in thee tonight. That's our hope. Oh, little town of Bethlehem, how still we see thee lie. Above thy deep and dreamless sleep, the silent stars go by. Yet in thy dark street shineth the everlasting light. The hopes and fears of all the years are met in thee tonight. The hopes and fears, we have them both, but they're all enveloped, surrounded, taken care of and fulfilled in that tiny babe born in Bethlehem. Or may you have a blessed Advent season. Live with hope. Live with promise. Someone said, we don't just have hope. We have assurance. Assurance that God's word is true. And have a, a blessed Christmas as you, you hope for your family, for yourself, for the church, for the community, for our nation and world. And let us pray. Jesus, you fulfilled the hope and the yearnings of, of generations of people who awaited the coming of the Messiah. Continue to bless uh, St. Luke with hope and assurance that you are at work now. And then give our world hope. Uh, we don't find fulfillment and power and might and destruction and war and our weapons but our hope is that one day people will no longer study the war and that the living hope jesus will transform us into a people of, of peace and joy and love maranatha come quickly lord amen
Thank you, friends. Uh, next uh, study, we'll look at God's gift, the second candle of Advent, peace.